We're back. I got camo on, but I can see you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Usual Know Podcast, episode 91. Round of applause. Please. Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 91. Thank you so much for coming back. We are fresh off of an amazing live show in Los Angeles. We will touch that at the top of the podcast. But if you are new here, if you haven't already, look below, you see the subscribe button. Is it pressed? You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section. Is it fulfilled with your name? Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. We have an announcement for our next two live shows. I'm going to say the cities right now. Just kidding, I won't. It is only available right now for the Koala Club, the Patreon. If you want pre-sale tickets to our next live show, and if you want to know where the next two live shows are at, you got to go to the Koala Club right now, and you will get it all. You'll be able to get the meet and greet tickets first, front row tickets first. You get access to everything first, knowledge, access, everything. But for the general public that is not in the Patreon, you will know on our Instagrams on Friday. So if you want to know where our next two live shows are, and you want to get tickets, and you're not in the Koala Club, you have to look on our Instagrams at PSH8, at Cam Kennedy 22 and at You Should Know Podcast Friday. It will be announced. I cannot wait for these next two live shows, especially after LA. LA was great. Thank you so much. It just puts that bug in us a little more to keep going, keep doing our thing. We love meeting you. We love actually doing the show in front of y'all because it's a whole different experience. We love you. And one of the shows that are coming up is going to get a completely different experience than everybody else. So be sure to get those tickets in the Koala Club right now. Link is in the description below. Or if you want to wait till Friday, be sure to look at it on Instagram at PSH8, at Cam Candy 22 and at You Should Know Podcast. We love you. Love you so much. Shout out to the Discord. Shout out to all you beautiful people in the watch party right now. It's uh, every Monday in the Discord at 7 p.m. Central. We love you. We love you. We love you. So many cool things are coming. Now on to the rest of the episode. This episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Sing it with me. Santa, Santa baby. baby. The Sick reason for a fresh, fresh cut is it. We uh, hear the sponsors today's show. It's Manscaped One. And think, I don't think you sing the whole I, part. I can't go. The leaders in Below the Ways Grooming have just launched their fifth generation performance package to help you avoid another silent night in the bedroom this year. And boy, God. could I take that. Take care of your special snowflake with the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra and watch your South Pole shine like never before. Get the best stocking stuffer of all by going to manscaped.com and using code PSH for 20% off plus free shipping. Mrs. Claus will thank you. Hey, I know it's hard to shop for men during Christmas time, especially for my father. I can oh attest God, to that. Oh my God, my dad too. Thank God we have the sponsor of Manscaped, the best below the waist grooming tools in the world. And I'm just gonna stock up on that, put them in a stocking stuff and be like, hey Mark, there, there you, you go. go. Yeah, <laughs> Christmas is over. Appreciate you, Dad. And he will appreciate it like no other gift. The 5.0 Ultra Performance Package is one of a kind. Obviously, the star of the show is the lawnmower, the 5.0. That's a fact. It's fantastic. Yep. It trims you up every single where you want, especially downstairs. Keeps you nice and groomed. Yes. Everything is nice. The, the, like, the dark horse MVP candidate of that package is the Weed Whacker, man. Woo! He, Get up I, in there. I, I really never realized how much nose hair I had because yes. it never bothered me at all. But as soon as I was like, oh, I'll try it. A damn forest yeah. came out of my... I literally was like... <laughs> Thank God for the weed whacker, am I right? came out. I was breathing better. I yeah. said, hell, my ears got to have something at this point. To get 20% off and free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code PSH. Say ho, ho to a well-groomed mistletoe with Manscaped. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. We got co-host Cam back in the studio. Oh no! <laughs> Bro, you just pulled a me. That's how I sound when Dude, I get in you, pain. Your knee is, is so bony oh, and of sharp. I don't like this. What's happening to us? What do you mean? Why is your hood on? First of all, you're. Well, I was you're, gonna do something, but then you hurt. It's a large fingy. white, a little pointy. <laughs> I look like a. <laughs> it's small. I, I just don't like this. You, I don't. I don't. I just don't on. like this. But you're so far away from me, and your outfit is horrible, dude. 
<laughs> That's the type of guy you are. In my exact same breath, I was about to compliment you. In the, the exact second, I was about to say, dude, you're Michael Jordan Air Flight Jordan 3. They're not Air Flights. Don't play with me. Dude, you're Air Michael Jordan Dunk School retro. Flights. Your retro Michael Jordan Flight Air Jordan number 3 reimagines are sick, Thank dog. you, bro. Thank your you. Your socks, they actually look white. Yeah, hey, your high school warm-up sweatpants, dingy-ass socks, and free the, shirt. Oh, these are the Afghani socks. <laughs> look at the bottom of camp socks. Show them. Oh, Show them. Oh, yeah. Show them. Another week. Okay, we're, we got to stop doing that. We got to stop getting so naked. I know a lot of, a part of it is me. Naked. We get naked a on the episode. Part of it is you. 98% of all nudity that's been on this <coughs> podcast is you. You think so? 100%. You literally go, dude, like, I, I mean, I see your story, but you're taking so... It's time to play the game! There's Sprite in the air. You're spitting. Break the walls down, 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 down. <laughs> Break the walls down. Wait, wait, wait. Do that shit again. Yo, no. The spin you did. Oh, my I God. Can't. Please do the break the walls down. Oh, sorry, I, I don't know you. if I can I redo it. Time. Ready? Break the walls down. down, down. <laughs> Fucking knee almost popped out. My knee almost popped out. I felt my PCL hit the other one. Oh. Uh, thank you. Thank oh, you. my God. <laughs> no, but... It, <laughs> No, uh, one of the th speaking of me getting naked on the podcast, I was on the phone with my mom the other day, and she goes, no. she goes, oh, can't wait for the day I can watch the podcast. My son isn't naked or spitting. <laughs> yeah, literally. So you're either your your bird is out or you're spitting like a bird. You're a bird. You are a raven. <laughs> what kind of bird would I be if I was a bird? Crow. <laughs> Nasty. D not because you're black. Because you have disgusting yep. talons downstairs. <laughs> Your rib cage is quite small, but sometimes protrudes like Ruby, and you're just a nuisance. You'd be a pro. Or look, whoever, somebody Google and enter in most secluded bird, and you already have your built-in nest. <laughs> like you're good to go, dog. You're good to go. Somebody Google what is the most secluded <laughs> keeps to themselves bird. That would be. You. I think I resemble a flamingo. Absolutely not. They are pink, vibrant. And <laughs> she lives. It's not a bird. Hundred percent. It's not. It, what yes, classifies is. as a bird? Bird. <laughs> like flies? So a penguin's yeah. a bird? Yeah, that's probably the first box. Can the bitch soar in the air? Nope, not a bird. <laughs> Definitely not a bird. That means a penguin's not a bird. Penguin's a bird. They're they one can't of few. soar in the air. They're one of few. They have wings, they have talons, they have beaks, they have everything. Are there birds without wings? What is it? Is that just like a drumstick at that point? They're just like fried chicken? <laughs> Well, but no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand the birds. But I'm not going to talk to animals. I'm not going to talk about animals. Yeah, please don't, Jesus Christ. I'm trying my best to be a new me. It's almost 2024, and I'm trying to be a better and more clothed, less stinky me. The fact that that just pained to leave your, you literally said it's almost 2024, and I'm trying to be a. Like you don't even want to. What are you going to do better in 2024? How about not click clack every five seconds? How about you keep your volume in a public setting at a lower level? And I'll tell stories in under 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Okay. If you keep clothes on, don't spit and... Never mind. Mm -hmm. Last one would have hurt. How about what? Nothing. Say there was so much saliva in your mouth. you got to stop I have that. wet mouth. You do have wet mouth syndrome. You like my wet mouth. WMS. What? Wet mouth syndrome? <laughs> Oh, you like all my bracelets? I, I know, I left mine. Cam doesn't LA. care about the fans. LA, I left LA. We're going to jump right into it. We'll just jump right into it real quick. They're not going to get the full deep dive because yeah. you know you get that on the Patreon. Full deep dive of the LA show and the whole week. It all oh, God. That is my... Oh, full deep dive of the LA entire week. Well, four days we were there. The show, the vlog of the whole time we were there, and the extended where we break it down piece by piece is all on Patreon. Where does bad breath come from? Uh, bacteria. But where? Like, because I, I, I believe... Is it in the throat or in the tongue? It's back. It's all of it. I think you don't brush your teeth adequately. <laughs> we all know that. Yeah. It's literally like... It's like... No. Let's go. I, the reason I stay up so late at night is because I know I need to brush my teeth, and I, I cannot get up and go do it. Bro, that's... So just... it's either like I will find that inner strength to go brush my teeth... You have no control. Or I will just fall asleep, and then I'll with the film over my mouth. Oh, that's the... Dude, I woke up the other morning and I was like, it is tough for me to be around myself. 
<laughs> you're just like, <laughs> dude. That's one of the reasons a I don't have a girlfriend. Trap. That's one of the reasons. Because I just like she will leave. She wakes up next to me one morning. She's gonna be like, "Hey, babe." I'm like, "Hey." She's like, she's like, ah. she literally goes, <laughs> "No, get ready for ten thousand comments." Baby, I do baby. it. Yeah, I do it. I, yeah. I would lick your breath. I bottle your breath up, boil it over a nice warm pot of water, and soak it into my flesh. So this whole time, I've been reading those comments for about a year, right? And I've mm -hmm. been like, the, "The women are liars. You're all yeah, lying." You to have me. no clue. But at the LA meet and greet, remember that girl who said she wants me to? Can I, oh, can I say it? Yeah, Please go ahead. This is toward the tail end of the meet and greet. We're being very polite, gentlemen. Hey, sorry, we're we're extremely sweaty. Yeah, hot lights are still on. We're very. We're not sweaty. doing a meet and greet after the show. Every we're day. never doing a post. Never, ever. We're too Marcus, sweaty. God, I hope you watch this one, Marcus. I swear to God, we're never doing a post show meet and greet. We're dr we're literally drenched in sweat. I texted it him. He's not. He said okay. Anyway, we did a post show meet and greet. We're terribly sweaty. Hey, sorry, we're super sweaty. She goes, no, 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 that's okay. I want it. He goes, no, you don't. I'm. It's awful. She goes, no, no, I want it. Matter of fact, I want all of it. I said, and I, I'm just sitting here like, what? He goes, no, no, I promise you, you don't. Like trying to joke. She's like, I want all of your sweat all over my body right now. And I was like, do you need yeah. a room? Yeah. Like, is the, do you need a room? I was feeling, I was like, where's Gabriel? Yeah, it was, <laughs> I was it like, where's Gabriel? But, or the security guy in the alley? No, our, oh my like God, this. hey. At our LA live show, if you wanted to come to our green room and assassinate us, you had full opportunity. Yeah. That guy was in a ski mask on his phone ski eating mask, Doritos. Headphones in, literally like this. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was like, hey, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna say that. that but so um, LA, LA live show. I know the the, the 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 burning question, and you know I've never been scared to be honest. The burning question. Oh, I will be honest. Did they top New York? Say your answer on three. A yes or no answer. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. No. No. <laughs> no. no LA, LA was LA fantastic. Was great. LA was, LA was fantastic. fantastic. Like, I'm, okay. Great show. We said no to be funny, like we said it aggressively, but it's not like New York was a ten out of ten. No. LA was a four. Like, no, no, no. LA was like a eight point nine nine on great, the dot. Great, great show. Fantastic. This is what I will say that LA did win on. LA had the better after party. It was it was the best Bro, after party best we've ever had. So it was far. so fun. Everybody in there was good vibes. Guy broke a table. <laughs> he said, hey, can I show you what I got real quick? Yeah, bro, go for it. He went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> just shattered the table. Good, uh, shout out to Markel. Turned it up to Markel hey, Washington. Shout out to Markel. Shout out to Liv's bestie. We okay. So our special guest. We could save now. It was supposed to be a lot of people. Yeah. Right? So, Go but, through. Go through the whole list. This was so the whole build up to the LA show. We had a guest list, and all of them were confirmed. But all these people are also working actors, musicians, conjugators, and so they get everything. booked for everything last minute. It's just how the world works. So this is who was supposed to come. Leo Skeppy. Leo Skeppy. O'Shea Jackson Jr., who's Ice Cube's son. If you've seen NWA, he's a guy who and, played. Uh, he's in Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear, there we go. Yeah, he's in, a, he's in everything. He's a great guy. I, great I literally actor. almost said White Gorilla. <laughs> That's not a film. <laughs> um, uh, Miles O'Neill, Shaq's son. Shaq's son, DJ. Everett, Everett. Pierce Simpson, uh, one of my biggest idols in broadcasting. Works at Complex. Uh, not anymore. Um, oh, he doesn't? No, no, he, he, he leveled up. He leveled up. Shout out, Pierce. So, he, so Pierce, that, 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 this is the thing about Pierce. This is how it went. So Pierce, uh, look forward to seeing you tonight. He goes, yeah, bro, I'm going to try to make it. I got a thing with Canelo tonight, so I'm going to try to make it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. hey, bro, do that. And then tell him how uh, tell him how O'Shea's went. Hey, bro, I would have loved to have been there. Swear to God, still had to take in everything. I had to get on the – where do you go? He said, I had to go to Paris. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was I'm something like, great. I was like, all right, bro. Don't blame me. And Leo Skeppy, he's he's doing a lot. He's on tour right now. He's dropped he merch. He just dropped his merch. Yeah, That's go check it out. Uh, shout out to Leo. Um all of our brothers from RDC, they were all supposed to be there, but they all had something going on in, in Austin, Texas. Yeah, uh, in Texas, but, but Mark was there. Mark Phillips showed up. He was super busy, has a lot going on, but he still showed up. That meant the world. Uh, Markel Washington came. Markel Washington, shout out Markel. Uh, it was a great time, boy. Uh, but uh, this one I'll say, and all of UTI under the influence. Under the influence their whole come. group was supposed to. They come. had they a party bummed, in San Diego. But they had their own uh, for nectar, for nectar, yeah. their own little party. Uh, so. But so this one I'll say, the after party for LA was the best after party we've ever had. So fun. Um, the crowd, we had signs. It was the first time we had signs in the crowd. There's two people yeah. in the back right corner who had signs. One of them said, uh, we got called as Cam and then a hippie Once one. It was hippie, hippie, hippie. Um, this is the thing I will say, right? The crowd was very interactive and we loved that. This is the thing about New York. New York was so interactive, but at the right at times. The right times. Like laughing when they're supposed to laugh, yelling when they're supposed to yell, but whenever like the show is happening, Engage it, yeah. they were quiet. <laughs> LA, this is the thing. I love how engaged and passionate you are. We love it. We we appreciate it. 
Sometimes it's, and keep doing it. Keep doing it. Sometimes there's inappropriate times to be talking. <laughs> like you would have thought they were like, "All right, let me see your ticket." And they're like, "All right, here's my ticket. All right, here's your shot of Patron." Like you would have thought so everybody was, was drunk. blasted. There which was, is great. There was, there was one, and I don't, I don't believe she was in the meet and greet, so we didn't get her name. But there was one particular fan, literally the screamer from the intro to exiting the stage. Yeah, I'd say every six minutes on the six minute mark, she was just like, "Woo!" Fast, fast forward five minutes, fifty eight seconds. <laughs> Woo! I was like, it, it was to a point I had to play with it. I'm yeah, like, she's a yeller. Yeah, yeah. I said she's a yeller sixteen times. Yeah, I pointed at the exact same woman. So this, uh, so we it love funny, it. Though. We, we are great. It. And and this thing about LA, the meet and greet. I think we met the coolest Facts. people at the meet and greet. Like the stories y'all have told. Uh, somebody told us how they got through their brain surgery. The surgery yes, that, that was I got literal chills yeah. after that. There was a I kid wanted to end the meet and greet. And yeah, just, like, talk with her. Yeah, I felt like she was so good. She was one of the first people to come in too because I saw her peek through the curtain. I made mm -hmm. eye contact with her. She was so cool. Um, there was a kid. He was wearing a Fallout uh, jacket, yeah. and he was so nice. Him and his dad, and he said great words about us. There was a dude, you should know shorts, bucket hat. We got Hawaiian like sick. thing. It was so cool. The, like uh, the two brothers. The two bro there was two brothers that um, said they were both like pretty nervous to step yeah. out and show up, but they did, and they and they're so glad yeah. they did. Yeah. And they just they thanked Peyton for connecting on that level. Yeah. The um, the beautiful young lady from Hawaii that made us the things. Yes, still yes. don't know the correct term for it. But so we're not gonna say it. Yeah, but, but uh, and sick. and it's in my closet right now. It's hanging up. I swear it is. Same. It's so cool. Um, and, and I promise you, I have all my bracelets. I just <laughs> forgot them. I'm so sorry. Don't fire me. Don't fire me. Don't we kill met me. A, we met an Olympian. <laughs> we met an Olympian. She's Shout so out cool. Anna. She's so cool. We met so many cool people. Shout out to our photographer and her friend Shout that came to Yogi. the green room. Uh, our agent was there. Shout out to Travis. Travis. Shout out to from QCO. Evan. Uh, from Q code Ryan Ryan Ryan, Ryan. sorry Ryan I love I you he's gonna yell at me I just gave your entire full name on there I'm so sorry but. <laughs> Ryan you work but uh uh show shout out to the whole LA this is what I'll say for future shows now and a lot of people travel to every single show Bro, right yeah. which is fantastic and we we there is no level of gratitude that we can physically show for that this is what we will say though there are people that have not seen the show and yes. like we have said, and we have been honest with, it is the same show, pretty much. 98% of the show is the exact same in every city we go to. It's just like if a artist, like if a musician, like a musician, an artist, your favorite rapper, your favorite singer, they go on tour, they're going to give you the same set list that they did in Chicago as they're going to do in Atlanta. Of course, they might have a, a, a unique story about yes. Atlanta, whatever, one thing here, but they're going to do the same songs. Yes. So that's the same approach that we have for this current leg of the tour. Continue. And so... What I suggest, more of a strong suggestion or telling you, <laughs> more of a demand. Let's not expose the punchline of certain things that are happening before they happen. Because we don't want to ruin the experience for people that haven't seen the show yet. Yes. So if you're coming to every single live show, we love you. We appreciate you. You are, you are the best. Let's just act like it's your first time, and I want you to enjoy those people's reactions as yeah. well, for, like it was your first time. Yes. So that's what I'll say. But L.A., Dude, fantastic. It was fantastic. And again, we're the literally out of, what was it, I think 485 mm -hmm. seats, mm -hmm. there was like maybe six people that was like, okay, they should, probably shouldn't talk that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so we, it's, we're, not, we're, it's all jokes, but it was a fantastic show. The jokes. crowd was amazing. It, I mean, it truly was. We love L.A. so much. The weather, y'all, you do not understand. I mean, you probably do. But if you're, like, born and raised in L.A. and you've never left, you don't appreciate your weather enough. Yeah. I'll just say that. It is unfreaking real Like, every time we go there, I'm like, God. Yeah. But, but uh, we're going to end this L.A. talk right here. We want to say thank you so much, L.A., for coming out. Y'all were an amazing show, an amazing after party, and we can't wait to come back for our next tour. Mm. Um, but... Uh, and uh, if you want more intricate details of the good and the bad that has nothing to do with fans, just more of our side, technical sides, and how the show we thought the show may not happen. Oh my god! An hour before, before it happened, the show, after the show, uh, days before, Patreon. days after, all on Patreon right now. They'll be linked in the bio. Go join the Koala Club. Get all that stuff and literally hundreds of other videos. But how was your week, Bubba? How did, how was your week? This week was good. We dude, we both finally got to enjoy our new places. oh my god so we told y'all last week we moved in like literally the week before we left for la and then we both got sick like two three days before la yeah. so we moved in got sick left for la did the show got to come back and 
Now it's been, I think, three, four days since we've been back, and it's I've literally done nothing but rest. It feels so good to lay down and literally oh do God. nothing. No yeah, editing, no anything. Like, literally, I put up an old TikTok. Yeah. So, and y'all knew it. You're like, somebody said, great re-upload. And you're like, you're damn right. I've yeah. been sick, tired, moving. Um, but, yeah, but it feels so good to be back. Oh, my God, it does. We have so much cool things planned. We do. But... You should see the drawing board. We don't draw on it. I don't know why they... Why do they call, call it a drawing, drawing board? board. Gives you drawing up ideas. Hello. There good morning. Go. Peyton has a brain sometimes. Menu's on the table. Hot and ready. But one of the things I... Since I have been just sitting on my couch like a dead corpse, butt-ass naked, um, eating Cheez-Its. So many Cheez-Its have been uh, in my body. Oh, TV shows. Okay. I was watching regular TV for the first time since I was a kid. And it sucks now. Abysmal. It is horrible. Like bad TV. Very, very bad. So I was going back and I was like, I want to go into like a, a vault of like the shows I grew up watching. Do you, re- and I want to see if you remember some of these shows. Okay. Why'd I say it like that? Are they, somebody, 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 somebody shows. shows. Wait, are these like kid shows? No. Or, well, okay. I, we watched, you just them, watched as them as a kid. kid, but what, they weren't intended for kids. No. Do you remember okay. the show Cheaters? Yes, bro. I would sneak into my parents' room, grab a pillow and blanket, and I'd get down and try not to wake up my mom. Because it, it would be on one of the headlining stations. It was like MTV, I think. Ooh. Or VH1. One of those. One of the... MTV, VH1. Lisa was going crazy then. <laughs> Lisa's watching MTV at 10.30 at night. BET. But she, yeah. She was sitting there. <laughs> but <Careful. laughs> Stop it. Uh, she would go to sleep, and it would always be on. And I would literally sneak in there and just lay on the ground and be like, and I'd watch Cheaters because I thought it was f- just fascinating. It's the difference between your upbringing and mine. Me and my mom would literally sit there watching together. And she, my mom would be like, you no good for nothing, son of a bitch. <laughs> my mom's going to hate that I just you said that. You little ratchet ass. <laughs> my mom's going to hate that I said that. See, I, I, yeah, I knew he was cheating. <laughs> See, I could tell by his pants. <laughs> Look at them shoes. That boy didn't have that left shoe tied. No, but okay, so if you don't know what Cheaters is, because a lot of you are kids, Cheaters is like a, a show where they would hire a PI yeah. and they'd, I think, and a lot of YouTube channels like kind of stole the idea and they do it now, but yeah. they they would hire a PI, they'd have the girlfriend sit, or boyfriend sitting next to them, have headphones on and like watch yep. them go cheat. And they'd set up like a trap. Yeah, and, it, it's and, yeah. fantastic and they would run up after them and go do it. But it's like the same concept of like Jerry Springer, all those where you'd run up to them. Bro, Jerry Springer? You are, oh that's Maury, you are yeah, not, not the, the father. father. Maury, <laughs> bro, Maury, Maury was on all the time at my grandma's house. Bro, oh it's a thing God. you watch at your grandma's house. And you touch the TV and you get stared at shock. So, oh, oh my such God. Such a vibe. I'd literally be on the couch like, you are. He'd be like, the father. I was like, damn. damn. I'd be like, like, bro, you got to go take care of that baby now. Go, okay. Go, go be a dad. But I'm going to name some more shows. Okay. This is an MTV show. And the premise of this show that I'm about to say cannot happen anymore because y'all are soft as baby shit. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all are, like y'all cancel people. The show next. Do you no remember the show is. next? No oh my is. God, the show, Liv knows the show next. Ew. Cam, when I say me Is there a reason I don't know what it is? Like, No, no, it's a fantastic, everybody watched no, it. Like, no, like. No, 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 no. Okay. White people loved it. Okay. There's a lot of white people on it. Oh, okay. The show next. Well, oh my God, me and Preston would sit and watch this for hours. A big like RV van would pull up and it would say next on it. Then there would be a person in the bus, right? Just sitting there. Somebody would come onto the bus and it, it, would, it would give you like a quick biography of him. This is James. He's from Dallas. He works in finance, but they didn't know that, right? They would just walk up to the bus. They would see the person and they'd go, next. And like literally say yes or no to people. Like that was like live Tinder. It was so damn funny because you'd get the confessionals before. It'd be like, man, I'm pimping, dog. I'm like, damn, whatever. I'm whatever. And they would go up on the bus. Next. And just, next. They'd be like, man, what? Like it would be the best show. It was the best show ever. I watched, I, uh, speaking of vans and RVs, I, I loved America's Home Makeover. Uh, move that bus? Yeah, move, move that, that bus. bus. Yeah. Where they'd send them to Disneyland for a week, yeah. come back, they leveled their house and made a new one. And she was a single mom, and I was like, mom, you can do it. You have no money. Didn't your mom go on Biggest Loser? She did not. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? She, she was going to, yeah. She applied for Biggest Loser. Biggest Loser, that's it. She also applied for the Police Academy. <laughs> That was that's that yeah. wasn't her same. That mind. was under in the influence <laughs> under, of a anyway. of a substance. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. Okay. So a couple more shows. I just love this because I yeah, was going I've through this. Never vault. heard next. Next, that's bro. Like, that's we gotta that watch reminds it. Me of like Drewski auditions. Yeah. Basically, like he'll, they'll literally walk in if they're goofy. He's like, man, get this motherfucker. Exactly. And you know, TV productions take hours, so they might have been sitting in that line for like four hours, Dude. and then you, you just get told no immediately when you get in there. Like, I'd be pissed too. But rightfully so. Like everybody knows, Pit My Ride, MTV Cribs. But do you know like the stories behind Bro, those? MTV Cribs was the greatest. Do you know that like those weren't the real houses? What? 
That's a lie. It weren't the real houses. Majority of them were not the real houses. Are you kidding me? I swear to God. There's a thing. I, I don't know what rapper it was. It was like Cameron or, 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 or somebody. They did one and they did, it was like somebody's apartment. And you can tell, like, if you go back and watch it, you can tell he was going through it. He'd be like, uh... That's the stove. It would be like somebody else's like family That's picture conspiracy. on the side. I swear That's to God, conspiracy. Google it. Google it right now. Google it. No, it's a real thing. And pit my ride. Pit my ride. The, the guy, the main guy, I forgot the host's name. He was a rapper. This murder or the creator shows like a murderer. And you know those like you know whenever they put fish tanks in the car. Yeah. They would take that, them out right after filming. Well, yeah, you're probably not going to leave it in there. Yeah, but most of those, they wouldn't keep them for like insurance purposes because you couldn't drive most of those cars. Imagine your car's paid off, your insurance payment's 1700 Exactly. A month. Ding, ding, ding. What is it? Well, there are some, some stars who appeared on the program who completely lied about the homes that they owned just for the sake of the production hitting their scheduling guidelines. But singer JoJo did state that her and her mom did not stay in the home that they showed. Exactly. Dude, that pisses me off. My favorite episode ever was Jason Terry. Jason Terry had showed his Atlanta house because he played for the Hawks before mm -hmm. Dallas. Bro, he had, all I remember is like he had two massive fridges. Yeah. Like enormous fridges. Yeah. And he opened it and it was like, not a joke and don't tell me, be careful. There was a ton of chicken. And he was talking about like, because I was obsessed with basketball, he was talking about his diet and shit. Yeah. And that was like one of my favorite episodes. Bro, that's lame. But you as gotta hell. understand, bro. It's TV. I mean, I, Half I, the I, shit is Now fake. that I'm older, I understand it now. But like, and for security purposes, you would at least. They're not like, welcome to twenty six twenty six. No, but like you see, drive. this window's right by their head. Like, oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, who would want that? Really? Damn, that sucks. Yeah, I mean, a I lot of what it's else fake. is fake. Majority of well, everything. Yeah, but three sixteen. Oh my God, sweet sixteen and pregnant. No, you know the crazy part about MTV? No, I know. They would play. Yeah. They would play uh, sixteen and pregnant, and then right after sweet sixteen. So you would see a girl living her best life, and then the next one's like, I'm miserable. <laughs> yeah, she'd be in the worst state ever. <laughs> Dude, one of the shows that made me so sad as a kid. Oh my god, it was about the girl that got pregnant. The white girl that got pregnant. It was like a not a reality show. It was like a written show. It was like something heaven. Oh my God! Please look up a. a can you please find it? It's gonna irritate me for the rest of the episode. A sixty-year-old that got pregnant. It's a little white girl. Was it on BET, VH1, or MTV? It's like VH1, MTV. It was kind of like a Degrassi type of show. Yeah, I might not know it. <laughs> like put like two thousand show about a uh, teenage pregnancy. Bro, I, I remember. Okay, did you ever have to do this for your mom? What or dad? I would get home. So I told you about like my. I've been by myself for a lot. Like, that sounds weird. But I knew something was wrong. <laughs> basically, my dad would pick me up from school, but he'd have to leave to go to his second job. Okay. And I'd be at the crib by myself before my mom got home from her job. Oh, so you were home alone. I was home. Uh, no, I don't think so. It's You're getting close. <laughs> getting warmer. But I'd be, it'd be like an hour, hour and a half. So it's not terrible. Yeah. But my mom would sometimes call me. She'd say, go grab a clean VHS, put it in the thing, set it to channel eight and click record. Okay. We had like a whole setup. Yeah. That was one of my favorite things ever. She was like, go record lost episode 13. It comes out at eight, set it for eight o'clock. Bro, Bro that's I literally lost something I never got into. Lost was fire. That's what everybody says. Lost is your house has like the whole like the whole lineage the DVDs, of it. Yeah. Bro, lost alias is another one that was good. Yeah. I've never seen it. Bro. Fire I remember going to this. We'll get off the TV show talk, but I remember this is some like down south, like black grandma stuff. Every, down south. Oh, every baby, every baby. time we go to my grandma's house on my mom's side, she would have every Medea play on like VHS and we would just watch it all day. It was like, that's, I think that's what got me into like wanting to be like an actor. Dude, that's illegal. Because you'd see them break character yeah, and shit. Like exactly. it was so good. That's, bro, I remember watching Medea, the like 2013 one maybe. Probably like right when I was entering high school. I remember mm -hmm. watching that one in theaters. And that was like my first Medea I watched like from start to finish. Yeah. Bro, it was hilarious. Okay, I have a question for you though. And I thought about this question on the plane back from LA. Oh God. Because I saw a TikTok. Plane thoughts are never good. Because I saw a TikTok about it, but I want to ramp the stakes up a little more. Okay. Plane okay. thoughts are never good okay. coming from Peyton. Let me just let y'all know now. First of all, we had one of the worst flights back. I'm riding first class on coverage state anymore. <laughs> All right, I'm, uh, I'm all here for it. <laughs> all right, listen. Don't ever do that again. You my, my beard was in my mouth. <laughs> Trim it. <laughs> Manscaped.com. Insert ad. The You Should Know Podcast. Cam, I want to take a second to talk about sex. What? Is that okay? Yeah. You be fine. having sex? Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, dog. I wish I did. Hey, Kevin, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know your time stamps, what but are we doing? 15 minutes or less is great when you're ordering a pizza, right? That's true. Uh, not too good in the bedroom. 
could use some improvement. That's why the You Should Know podcast is partnered with Joy Mode. Can I tell you what Joy Mode is? Please tell me. It's about sex. Okay, yep. Those days are those weird little sketchy gas station pills people were taking in college. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Waking up with migraines to the heavens. Not healthy for you, not good for you. Those days are gone thanks to Joy Mode. Joy Mode is a sexual performance booster and is an all natural and science based supplement to give your disco stick all the tools it needs with nothing it doesn't. Simply mix this wonderful concoction with six to eight ounces of water 45 minutes before sexual activity and watch the magic unfold. Hey, hey, it's sick. How do you think you got here, all right? Let's all, we're all adults here. How do you think you yeah, got here? come on. We're all gonna have sex. If you're doing it, might as well enjoy it with Joy Mode. Be the new sheriff in the bedroom and go to usejoymode.com for 20% off with the code YSK. That's 20% off and a free shipping with the code YSK at usejoymode.com. Look, okay, dead ass. I want you to be serious about this. Like, okay. real life. Okay. Real life. Think about this is happening in real life. Okay. Somebody knocks I will give you 100% honest answer. All right. Somebody comes up in the studio right now in mm -hmm. a suit, and he's like, Cameron Kennedy. Yes. I am him. He is me. Briefcase. Okay. I don't like Probably it. Probably it'll take a couple briefcases. Open your briefcase. Is there a firearm? Opens it all of them up. All of them up. There's multiple briefcases. Oh, multiple ones. Okay. Multiple ones. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he opens up all these briefcases. He says, Cam, I have $10 million in cash. How long? <laughs> okay, go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's, that's such a big amount of money. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Go, continue. Go. What's wrong with you? I don't. It, hey, hell, 10 mil. <laughs> We'd be, wait, wait. I, I need to start saving. <laughs> How's this shit? Why do kids watch this? <laughs> be uh, 10 million, multiple briefcases, opens up. There's no says, firearms? No. Okay. He says, he's a real cool guy. I feel safe. Cool guy. He's like Ben. Oh, but, okay. He's like Ben from here. I've never seen Ben in a suit, though. <laughs> right, Ben's okay. so cool that he doesn't have to wear suits. Anyway, continue. $10 million cash, under the table, non-taxable, right? Oh, I'm, I gotta do something dirty for that. I, you... Go home right now. No, I go to your house right now. You give me the key. I take Ruby. You never see her again. You don't know what he's going to do with her. He takes her. You don't know if he's going to house her. You don't know. He doesn't get any. He's like, I take Ruby. You don't get to ask any questions. He takes your dog. You don't get to say goodbye to her. You just, he's just going to go to your house right now and take her. $10 million. What do you do? Give me the briefcases. Are you hearing that, Liv? $10 million? I could go buy a purebred cane Corso, put that bitch in training for six months, and be the greatest dog ever. Ruby is expung expungible to you? Ruby has a bad rib cage, crooked back legs, and she she's adorable, and I love her to death, but come on, she's got eight years left for 10 million. What? Ruby's four. You her think life she has eight? Her life expectancy is 12. She's four. But that's for like a good. She's healthy. Yeah. Is she? She has bad bones. You see her? Bad like bones. The other day. <laughs> Every time I walk in the house, she's like, no, uh, 100%. <laughs> give me the 10 million. Dude, if you're I a sick freak. No, dead ass. There's no other option? Like, he's just, that's it? Or no, or you keep your dog. Your dog that needs you and loves you. I wouldn't forgive you. Are you nuts? Ask me that question about Malcolm, who's on about his deathbed. About Malcolm, bed. who's got about four and a half months. Hey, what's your f***ing <laughs> mouth? You got what's your f***ing mouth, dog? Don't talk about him like that. Hey, when Malcolm passes, if he ever does, I don't think he will, this podcast oh, no, is taking a three-month hiatus. You're not going to see Peyton. Y'all can do whatever the hell y'all want. If this briefcased man with no forearms... <laughs> What? <laughs> Firearms. He, he, has no, he has hooks. It's like this, got ten mil hooks. this no forearmed briefcased man goes to my mom right before Dusty's passing and asks her 10 million. I get to take the dog. You keep Dusty. If my mom would have kept Dusty, I wouldn't have forgave her. 10 million. I thought you were more like a. I love my dog to death. Don't get it. I love, I love Ruby more than you and I love Ruby more than her. I'm not thinking it. I, I'm thinking it. I, I don't it. even own Ruby and I wouldn't do that. If, 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 if they came up to me and said, here's $10 million, Cam doesn't know how you know this, this- No, shut the hell up. <laughs> Cam doesn't know how this dog is going to go missing. He'll never find out, but we're going to take it from him. $10 this million. This would be the caveat. This would be the caveat. I would say no. If I got a week left with her, I would say yes, 100%. No, you can take that's the, the hard part. If it's right then and there, I don't even you, get to go kiss her one last time and cry with her. No, you I'm don't keep, get I'm to smell the dog. her anymore. I'm keeping the dog.
I got to keep the dog. No, now you're just saying that to save face. No, I'm keeping the dog. It, I mean, it's easy hypothetical, but you did ask me to be 100% honest. Yeah. There's no way I could give up Ruby. They could Even if there was 10 million cash in front of my eyes, there's no way I could give up Ruby. This is how bad I You'd am. You'd have to shoot me in the head to get Ruby. This is how bad I am. If Malcolm was on his little, they're about to euthanize him. Like the needle's already touching skin and they're like, here's $10 million. We'll just put the needle on right now. I'd be like, no. I can't. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. I can't. I, the money sound, sounded good at first. But if realistic, realistic me, y'all know I'd take a bullet for that stupid little crooked dog, that damn little deer alien kangaroo son of a bitch. Okay, can she come to the show? Oh! <laughs> I'm keeping it, but I'm muting Oopsie. you. Oopsie! She, can she come to the show, our next live shows? She can come to one of them. She's going to come. Yeah, are you going to be on Ruby Duty? Hell no, that's y'all's dog. All right, then she can stay. Imagine how scared she'd be on stage. Oh, she would be, her tail would be tucked, her legs poking out. She's like, can we let her just run loose, though, in the crowd? Somebody would grab her up. No, one of y'all freaks would grab yeah, her up. Yeah, uh, yeah no. One of y'all freaks would grab her, sniff her skull, and I'd have to nosedive. Yeah, I love our fans, man. I do, too, but no. Damn it! I, I would want that $10 million for sure, but I couldn't. There's no way in there. You got mad at me uh, There's before no we left to L.A. I got mad at you? Because I need help sometimes. All the time. Every day. I moved, and a lot of things got lost in transit. And I asked you to bring me something. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. You didn't ask me to bring you something that maybe you, you, you broke your charger or you couldn't get to Target for some toothpaste. This grown-ass man before L.A. goes, Hey, dog, you got everything packed? Yeah, bro, packed it. I'm all good. What about you? Yeah, I'm straight, man. Hey, uh, I kind of need a favor. All right, I'm thinking I'm... I think worst case scenario, I'm going to have to drive to his house help him with something. Oh, no. Hey, dog, um, got a couple spare pairs of drawers? I said, are you kidding me? You're kidding. We're about to go perform, get on an aircraft, live our best life, and you need my underwear. Yeah. Super sick. No, I, I don't know what happened. Me neither. Wash your fucking wash your clothes. No, it's the thing is it's so far now, like my from my closet oh. to my laundry. Oh no, no, that's not what I oh, meant. It's, uh, so you, far. it's a whole story under. Oh God forbid I left one on the first floor. Gotta walk through the second, up to the third where my laundry basket is, and take it down back to the second. God forbid. <laughs> Yeah, you, you brought that one upon yourself. I didn't mean it. I like love that. that somebody swiped up on your story and said, your shit looks empty. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said it's hard to fill up three stories. Ow. That's the thing. Can I say this? That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. I love y'all to death. And I love that we can we have good banter. We have banter, yeah. Shit but, chat. But we got to understand there's, there's 10 years of friendship here almost, right? There's certain things Cam can say to me that doesn't to hurt my feelings. Because I know Cam. You mother. <laughs> when y'all say it sometimes, it just hurts, all right? It just cuts deep. So let's be nice to Peyton. Let's be nice to Peyton. Hashtag be nice to Peyton. But I asked for draws because why not? Because why? Because you have some of my panties still. No, I don't. You don't have any. None of my panties are in your in your washer. Never in a million years have I had your panties in my washer. All right, if anything, you're the underwear thief. We can't do this podcast anymore. Check your underwear right now. I swear to God, if you're wearing a pair of mine, we're done. Yeah. Why was that so? <laughs> the images were down there. That was like a low hanging, like. It's um. <laughs> Stand like a bitch, bro. Your shit. Those pants look like they're for Grandpa Gene when you were putting them back on. Look like you're about to sit on a riding lawnmower. What now? What did he do to you? Now, what did he do to you? I'm sorry. You know Straight dead music! Break the wolf down! Break the wolf! I swear she to God, if this podcast fails and he takes three months of a YouTube course, you could be a street dancer. You could literally be like... No! Ooh. Oh! Okay, can I say this story real quick? I'm about to say a story that's honest. The dead ass honest. And I, I forgot until you just said that. Put your damn hat on. The first time I went to Vegas, I was 15 years old. <laughs> we were staying at the Basketball. D. We we're saying, yeah, we we're staying at the D in Dallas, in, in, in Las Vegas, the D. Um, I don't even know if it's still up. 
I've never heard of it. One of my friends got Janky his ass hotel. Uh, one of my teammates got a big fist fight over 2K. Got his ass whooped. That's the first time I heard a fight in person. It literally his face against the fist sounded like you're hitting concrete. Dude. I was like, that hurts. But that's how I was. We my family calls it the beat down at the D. <laughs> Shout out to. <laughs> I think he's married now. Um, hope your face is good, bro. Um, Golly. I think he watches too. I'm so sorry. Um, that's a great story though. It was a great time. Jesus Christ. And one time Charles was standing over. He fell asleep like at that night because he was so mad. <laughs> he fell asleep like this on a chair while we were all asleep. He was like this. <laughs> he had he had dreads too, so they're over his face. He was like, bro, he I was scared. I was like, he might kill us all in the morning. He might just Preston yeah. was terrified. Preston was there? Yeah. Preston hooped? No, Preston just stayed with us. Preston would have been a mean, a mean rim defender. Imagine his picks, bro. <laughs> He's playing defense like this. <laughs> He's got four. He's got four hands. He's like, look, he's playing. D. He's like, <laughs> Preston hates us, bro. <laughs> he's the best roaster he's, ever. Yeah, he's the best. Holy shit. Uh, but okay, oh, listen. His be like literally running into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> he would lead the league in efficient picks. All right, this is what happened in Vegas, right? Speaking of street dancers. <laughs> Shooting a free throw. Holy but shit. To break dog. the backboard. Like, Why do you make Preston knock me? I don't know. He's not. Preston knocking. has great legs. Like, honestly, no, he, he has does. like phenomenal legs. Good hooves. He's going to drop kick me. Preston kicked me one time. It shit hurt. <laughs> he drop kicked me and covered my whole chest. I'm done. I'm kidding. It's been like this. What? Can I take him the whole thing? 15 1. Love you, Preston. All right. Holy shit. We were staying at the D. Holy right? Shit. And we were walking through, and they had Magic Mike. Like the, the actual, like the performers, like oh, they did a show there. Wait, is this about the guy? Got no, so, no, that was the yeah, side story. But I was, I was walking and that's when I was really in my actor mode. I was like, I want to be an actor. I want to be a performer. There's something I want to do. I want to entertain people. So I thought, I was like, I could do that. And so. <laughs> I don't know why your mom just didn't slap your ass a couple of times. That's why I was successful. It's because she didn't. Good so, mom. Good mom. So I remember. I went to the room while my parents were out. <laughs> and I put on my underwear. <laughs> and on the thing, they were wearing like thongs. No, you I didn't own one. So. You tucked in your ass. <laughs> oh. <gasps> I was shaking by my ass in the mirror. By myself. Did you put your dad's necktie on? <laughs> <laughs> and then like, I was playing like the black eyed peas in the background. <laughs> They are boom, boom, boom. boom. Oh my shit was still hairy back then, too. Ew. You're sitting there. there boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And I was like, immediately, I was like, I don't have the body for this. <laughs> no, you don't. It's like, it's like if they need so one of the minute black crickets why, to come in. Yeah. Why do their legs look thicker than mine? Oh yeah. my god. You at fifth? How much did you weigh at 15? <laughs> 95 soaking wood. 25 cents a day. <laughs> oh. Like bro. whenever we'd go to church as a kid, the they'd real be question like, is, they'd be like, pray for him. <laughs> They're like, he needs the extra plate of food. <laughs> Did you record it? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, but I had one of those eye flips. I recorded everything. I want to find that footage. I used to record and vlog everything. I vlogged my first Sick. flight when I was 13. Dude, my first flight was the worst thing ever. Wait, why? My first flight was also to Vegas for basketball. Okay. First flight ever. I was super prepared looking up videos. I brought gum, headphones, bought a water in the airport, asked for a Sprite, everything I could do. Okay. Music. I sat with my teammate and longtime friend, Taurus. You know no, no Taurus. Shout out to Taurus. This motherfucker. No headphones. No gum. I, sh I swear to God, he drank five full cans of Sprites. Like every time Makes she, sense. every time he got one, he drank it, and he was like, "Ma'am, you mind if I have one more?" And she'd be like, <laughs> "He's sitting there, dog. My ears are popping. You think we could go one and one on your headphones?" I said, "Bro, I was gonna listen to my music." He's like, "Dude, I'm down to listen to whatever you got." I'm sharing headphones. He's sitting there twitching, moving and shit. <laughs> Cannon's just downing Sprite, <laughs> farting his life away. He's like, "Ah, my ears pop. Can I have some of your gum?" Like it was just, it was so. God, it was just an that's, annoying that's flight hilarious. for two hours. It was Dude, God. It my was first crazy. flight was with Aunt Carolyn because she flew all the time for work. Shout and out I Aunt always wanted to go on a plane, and I, I want. I to still be, need that head rub. And I wanted to be a YouTuber. You got a quick one in Dobrik for like two seconds. Yeah, she was like, <laughs> I was like, I could only imagine what a thirty-minute full session is. And uh, so she was like, I'll take you on a flight. I got points from, with American Airlines, I'll, and we lived in Austin. She was like, we fly to Dallas and fly black, fly black, fly black. <laughs> I 
we did fly flat. <laughs> we fly and fly, fly back. And so I remember I vlogged the airport and I was like, uh, and I had a big, like, it was a gift. Like, a big I'm a DS- fine <laughs> I had a big DSLR too. And I had no shame back then. I was carrying it to the airport like this. I was like, dang, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I don't have a YouTube channel. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And I was like flipping it. And Dude, talking. now with a YouTube channel and I real cameras, you're like this. You're it's like, because now people know who I am. Like, yeah, guys, so we're in the airport, right? I know. Bro, I know. that's that dude, a first flight, that's a hilarious. Yeah. Bro. Holy shit. I wish I wish we could have the power or find a or find a website or something, a free one preferably, you know me. <laughs> uh to where we can make those like the stick animation videos. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like yes, a, of a you and me, like motion? make a little story, bro. Oh my god, those are so those fun. Those are fun. Like what they do for all the JRE episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh that'd be god. fun. That'd be so fun. Uh- the You Should Know Podcast. P, have you ever been sitting around and just get charged for something you completely forgot about? Like those monthly subscriptions that like I made a, like a in 2019? <laughs> a double payment for this, something you've been, you've been a member of for three years uh, and you've never been? Too many times. The other day, I literally got charged for a, an annual gym membership fee. Haven't been to it since Arkansas. You forgot that gym existed. Arkansas. How'd you I fi- don't live there anymore. How'd you fix it? I tried to call him. Okay. They said, oh, you have to be here in person. I said, that's not going to yeah, happen. That's a 360 deal. I said, can I speak to a manager? Yeah, he'll be back from his lunch break in two hours. I said, what kind of lunch is he eating? But anyway, <laughs> you know what I did instead? What? Rocket Money. Oh. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. And if I see something that I don't want, I can cancel it with a tap. I never have to get on the phone like you did with weird customer service reps that take two hour lunches and I gotta go in person and write them an envelope, you know what I mean? I said, what are you eating? Rocket Money has over 5 million users and helps users save an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Damn, so stop wasting on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash YSK. That's rocketmoney.com dot com slash ysk rocketmoney.com slash ysk if you didn't hear me the other two times that's rocketmoney.com slash ysk what is it rocketmoney.com slash ysk now on to the rest of the episode the you should know podcast i don't know think about all this like first time stuff i don't know I, i'm an emotional guy like i don't know Bro. i just get emotional me too. It's, yeah. it's good to think. But you, you okay, if you take it too far, you always get like these weird little soppy ass. Huh? Uh, not soppy. It's <laughs> not even a word. Uh, soppy is a sappy. word. Soppy is a word. Soppy is not a word. Sappy is what I meant to say. Like, soppy is a word. Soppy is not a word. You never sop something up? Sop something up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you put like bread like in water, sop it That's up. That's soggy. It makes no, the bread soggy. Yeah, no, I'm talking about like when you get a plate and you got like yams and 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 like yams in a roll and you sop it up and you eat it. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, one, why did it become Thanksgiving? And two, that's called scooping. No, sopping it up. You know what sop is. I tried to say sappy, like your attitude, you little princess, and I accidentally messed up and said soppy. Sop you is never not a real- some up? What do you think I'm trying to say? You're, you're not saying shit. Soppy is not a word. Yes, it is. You're thinking of soggy. That's the texture. Soggy's the texture. Scooping is the action. No, Where the hell does soppy come into play? Sop it up. You never sop something up? Sop it up. Hey, you never like drops out. You never like spill on the table and your mom's like, hey, sop that up. Sop that up. That, that one is soak. Soak that up. No, soak it up is like when you're laying it on it. That's soaking it up. When you lay something on it, it's soaking it yeah. up. When you do this, it's you're sopping it up. Scooping. No. And when you're and when your bread touches soup, it's soggy. No. And no. when okay, you're acting yes. like act princess, it's sappy. No, listen. You're talking about action verbs and adjectives, right? Those confuse me still. But- Boom, good at English. Soppy's not shit. Yes, listen. Listen with your freaking brain. You got big head. It should be a lot of information that can go in there. Dumbass boy. This is what okay, listen. You got a yam. You know what yams are. I love yams. You got a roll. You know what rolls are. Are the yams candied? Hello. Hello. Brown sugar. <laughs> you, you know what rolls are, like those big muffins love you got on yeast. your back end. <laughs> you get get a roll, right? And you got a yam. You know there's that leaking juice, right? Yes. And don't, you, <laughs> don't wink at me. Why? And then you take that roll and you sop scoop it up. It up. S- scooping. It's scoop not it a up. goddamn. It's not a queso, dumbass. But you're scooping. Scoop is that it has to lay on there. Okay. If you, Sop it up, it goes in. Okay, let's just let's let's just Sop it goes in. Let's just ro- Sop it goes in. You're not going did you puncture it? Did you give it pre? No, but it's holes? water. It's wet in a bready substance, sopping it up. Soggy! That, no, that's what it feels. It's soggy afterwards. Yes. After you sop it, it gets soggy. 
You don't stop anything. Okay, let's take. Don't let's, touch me on my foot take, ever again in your life. I'm sorry I touched your Michael Jordan Air Flight 23 Reimagined Threes. Okay, here we go. Your retro amazing shoes. Here we go. If I took a spoon in a bowl of soup and I did this, what am I doing? Scooping it. Okay, if I took a chip with queso and I did this, what am I doing? Scooping it. Okay, if I took. Exactly what I'm saying. If I took. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. If I took. That's exactly what I'm saying. A piece of bread and put it in my mashed potatoes and went like that. Stop it. <laughs> Scooping Listen, it. Listen, do you understand why you're wrong? Just shut the. I'm not wrong. Hey, you can't do this and do this. You know what I mean? Can't do this and do this. Shut up. Why are you pointing to your heart? Listen. You said you can't do this and do this. <laughs> listen, listen. Ow. Do you understand what you said? With a spoon. Well, how is it? It's a scooped material. With Let's shut the f up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, dude. God damn it. Shut up. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't even get the first letter out. I just fucking lost it. Go. Um, with, <laughs> go. <laughs> with the spoon, right? Mm -hmm. It has a utensil on it that's like a little bowl. Mm -hmm. The bowl. Mm -hmm. When you get a chip, it comes with a little bowl. In crook. <laughs> and even if you do this, I can still hear you shut up when i'm explaining these sorry. <laughs> and you know my spit's battery acid too i'm so sorry <laughs> you <laughs> there's a difference sopping it up is an action oh my god you can only you can only what's the word you're trying to use scoop you can only scoop, scoop. with a scooper with a scooping utensil. A sop is like, you're not bringing anything up with it. Sopping it up is like mixing a material. You know what I mean? It's like bread and you're getting the juice, you're sopping up the juice and fusing it. Maybe that's not <laughs> Can't leave that. You spit in my iris. <laughs> like, my pupil has your DNA on it now. I hope you know it's that. It's not the only thing on you's got my DNA. Hello, good morning, coffee's hot. Soggy, sappy, scooping. Mixing, and there was another real word in there. Soaking? Soaking. Soaking, scooping, mixing, soggy, and sappy. Do you understand there's a difference between soaking and sopping? Soaking is you just sit it on there and it's soaking everything up. Sop, you take it and you sop it up. So you're saying a sop, sop is a mixture of a scoop and a soak. Yes! Bullshit. <laughs> People are going to know what I'm talking about. That makes no sense. People of my descent. That might, about. okay. People of the Slavic ca Caucasus Mountains. <gasps> That's not the... Oh my God. Whatever, bro. You all right, bro. Whatever. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Fume. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches. I love cold turkey on sandwiches. But it's not the best way to get rid of a bad habit. That's a fact. We're not talking about some weird mind voodoo or your shirtless next door neighbor that knows when the world is ending. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume. Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavored air device that does just that. Mm. Hey, instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. That's better. So much better for you. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. Wood. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses delicious flavors. There are a lot of delicious flavors in those packs. And if you know anything about me and how my labradoodle of a mind works <laughs> at this point, fume has an innovative, like, clingy, twisty, twisty, Good for fidgeting. Thing at the, it's unreal. Oh my fidgeting. God, we have a bunch of fumes in the studio and all I hear is... Yeah. It doubles as a fidget, keeps your mind occupied, no more boredom. You gotta try the new Solano fume. It's made with a premium walnut barrel and an onyx-coated mouthpiece that has a slightly softer Finish. Start the holidays off right with a good habit by going to tryfume.com slash YSK to grab the journey pack today. Fume is giving listeners of the You Should Know podcast 10% off when they use our code YSK to help make starting the good habit that much easier. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know podcast. All right, there's a story that you said you wanted to tell me. Bro, <laughs> I heard this through the phone the other day. It involves Liv's father. I love this father. Amazing father. -in -law. Great. OG Papa T. OG Papa T. Keep, Keep it 100. 100. High school sports. That's his podcast. Um, This man. So he gets to go on trips for work, right? Okay. So he goes to Mexico, has a great time. He, go, he says, every time I go to Mexico, I get a massage. I'm like, Ooh, smart man. Hello. They're fantastic. So he goes, the first time he got a massage there, she, uh, the woman said, 
the woman came back and he was still like in his swim trunks. Okay. She was like, yeah, uh, take your clothes off. So he's like, do I get naked? <laughs> he says naked. Uh -huh. He's like, do you want me to get naked? Wait, can I paint the picture of what this man looks like? Go for it. How yeah. tall is he? How tall is your dad? Like six, like five eleven, six foot flat. I would say six foot, big black dude, like <laughs> massive big black dude. Thank you. I can't say that. <laughs> so all right, bald head. So that's what he looks like. Bald, big black guy. Fantastic. Here we go. He's in his trunk. She's like, sir, get naked. He's like, naked? You're like fully <laughs> naked? He's, she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like, nah, I'm keeping my drawers on. <laughs> yeah. So he keeps the drawers. Keeps he's like, panties. yeah, she tucked me and everything. He says, so this year, so now fast forward a year. Okay. Same work trip. He gets to go back, living it up. Amazing. He goes and gets his massage. Mm. So he said the girl, <laughs> he said the girl goes, undress. I'm going to leave the room. I'll come back in a couple minutes. I'll knock whenever you're ready. He said, so I remember what she had told me last year, right? So I got full blown butt ass naked. No, I no. swear to God. No. He goes, he goes, I got butt ass naked, right? <laughs> but I thought I had to wait for her to tell me to get under the covers. He said he was <sighs> sitting on the corner of the masseuse bed like this. He was like that meme. <laughs> yeah, like that meme. He literally was like this. <laughs> butt ass naked. And he said she walked in and she went, <laughs> And then literally walked out. And she was like, sir, what are you doing? He was like, last year you told me to get naked. <laughs> he said, so I was just waiting. This, <laughs> imagine that, bro. I don't want to. Just a big ass guy, butt naked, hunched over like his halftime at, at a local football game. <laughs> was he, he looking like, at the door? Yeah, probably staring at the door waiting, just like, <laughs> just butt ass naked, bro. And then, oh, shit. to top it all off. He's like, yeah, it was crazy. She still came in. I got under the covers. She gave me the massage, and it was so good, I fell asleep. I was like, there's no way, bro. I'm like, I really want to call him and, bro. like, get his. Oh get my it. That God. Is, that is frightening. Dude. I bet she was terrified. When he, when he said that, oh, my God. I bet he was, I, I was, she was terrified. Uh, oh, my God. He's a she, massive man. Just a massive man. <laughs> yeah, he's a massive man just oh hanging out. God. Just chilling, bro. With just glasses like on. Look, yeah. <laughs> Probably has like a beer or yeah, something. Yeah, booty chilling. butt ass naked with just glasses on. On it's the crazy. corner of a masseuse. Bed. Look at a not a single, not a single linen is draped over your body. He's just butt ass. <laughs> naked. Okay, so I got my first massage, bro. Um, oh recently, whenever we all went, right? Yeah, yeah. Yours was so much better. It was, so it was great massage, but it, they said take your clothes off, right? Yeah. But you know, I do everything in my socks, like everything. <laughs> Did y'all keep y'all socks on? No, I have an inf I have a zombie foot. And I take my shit off, but, and but she better. But we know brother. you. You don't care about anybody but yourself. No. <laughs> and that she's. I have paid for a full body massage. The only area you will not be touching is my willy. Okay. Everything else go. That's for the it. only thing. She didn't get my butt cheeks. I love my butt cheeks getting rubbed. Dude, I do too. I really do. She really didn't get my getting ass a good either. forearm in the butt. Not in Bro, the butt. On the butt. Forearm. Anybody else seeing stars right now? Elbow is what you mean. You like, want her no, to forearm, forearm go like this? You never formed your butt? That might be for pleasure. <laughs> like, not no, it is. Not masseuse. Not massage pleasure. You're not working any kinks out with a forearm. I like elbow. my butt getting <laughs> Hello, menu's on the table. Welcome in. Pick where you Why want to sit. Why are you sit. so dirty? I'm being honest. Because an elbow is a masseuse practice. You know, because the reason I have such a strong little butt is, well, I got a big butt, but like strong butt is because in high school, I'd always like do box jumps and like squats. Like my butt got big. Like that's why I got stretch marks, like cheetah marks. Like, ow. You can see the growth. And so it would always be sore. So I, when I'd get like formed, like when I had a girlfriend, I'd uh, form my butt. Uh, I'd, uh, uh, bro, live literally two nights ago. We're, go we're getting ready to go to bed. I take my shirt and shorts off. I'm just in my boxers. She just starts cracking up, laughing. Yeah. I'm like, what? She goes, babe, your ass is big. She's like, it shouldn't jiggle when you walk. And yeah. I said, all right, no. I said, I need to go get, like, this, I need to get something taken out. This is, might be a Patreon story, but the last girl I talked to, like, almost dated, right? Mm -hmm. we, she would stay over. Like, we would, she would sleep over. Mm -hmm. I'm so awkward. I'm a grown-ass <laughs> man. She would stay at like, my she house. Would say, There's extra room. That, uh, she's... She would stay at my house, but when you sleep, like I sleep in underwear, right? Like mm -hmm. I'm going to bed, I had to be comfortable. Underwear, socks. <laughs> that's, my, that's my go-to hat. <laughs> that is <laughs> underwear, socks, and a ball cap to go to sleep. Is it that it? Like you just got out of Rikers. Like that is not you. I don't know freedom you yet. You don't trust anybody, including lonesomeness. Like, but she has a she had a thing 
where she would like she would have to be like clothed when she would sleep. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna say fully naked. No, that's fine. I'm always for that. Go ahead, day log. Kyle, good morning. <laughs> but she would sleep in a hoodie. She would sleep in a hoodie, and like she was in, hoodies acceptable. And she was into fashion, so she would have like those thick ass like designer hoodies. Unacceptable. And then she would wear like windbreakers. Like so you'd hear that. And so I'd be trying to like get in there and spoon, and I my skin would burn, dog. I, I don't want to be rashes on yeah, your thigh. I don't want to be a, a creep and be like, babe, take them off. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. She's comfortable. I'd be like, uh, but I have to fall. Like if I'm dating somebody, I have to fall asleep touching you. But I, I, you're God, making you're me uncomfortable. Bro, we have a king size bed, and Olivia is like, size like size. on my ass to go to sleep. Yeah. There's like literally three three feet of space over there. Ruby's curled up in the crotch, yeah. so my knee's already exposed. Yeah. Liv's tucking her legs under my legs. Now my hips are out of place, <laughs> and my back is turned. Like, But that's different. I don't have to be cuddling. I have to touch you something like a foot, a hand, something. Yeah, you scraped the shit out of me when we had to share that bed. That damn talon of a toe yeah. was like, that's it. Never, never again. I... I got another. I got a question for you. It's not a story. I have a question for you. Okay. Because I thought about this the other day after I watched the trailer. Okay. If you were on the run, like from law enforcement, why would I be careful? Whatever. Don't be careful, me. If you were on the run for crime, whatever. Okay. I'm talking GTA. Like you're at four stars, about to hit five. There's sirens around the city. There might be a helicopter. If you were on the run, what would your plan of attack be? Because I know it's gonna be awful. What would you do if you were trying to get away from the city's best? All law enforcement is coming after you. <laughs> like sewage. A bridge. Sewage or a bridge? Like are you are you Donatello? What do you mean sewage? You're gonna jump down there and talk to your rat father and see what he can conjure for you? You're gonna go get your staff? I need more information. Is it helicopters or feet? It's no officer's gonna be running you down on foot. It's not a track race. What am They're I in? in a Dodge Charger speeding with sirens. What am I in? You're in a car. You're in your car. Under an 18 wheeler. All right, all right, Vin Diesel. Like, what are you? You're not Need for Speed. You're not Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Stop living through movies. No, a tunnel. Bro, you're about now. You're not James Bond. Give me a realistic answer. Honestly, I'd cry. <laughs> Cry. Oh, you already committed a felony. It's not me. And you're just gonna keep driving. <laughs> no, I have a Tesla. It oh, you're going. Charge. Oh, you are going to prison if you just no. Kept driving. No, honestly, what I would do, right? You would start crying. I would find Section Eight. <laughs> no, I would go to a Section Eight, right? Where they are, like, I would go to Section Eight apartments, right? What is your? Thought because I've I've stayed in a lot of them, so I I know how they work, and a lot of people use like clothes hangers to dry their clothes outside, so I'd run. On those and hide behind the clothes hangers. And then while I'm going, I would switch into a flannel. Your mind is so, so damn feeble. It is unbelievable. You'd switch into a flannel. You have police officers. Like I said, you might be, a helicopter might be on its way. Okay. I mean, I'm talking. So there's no helicopter? Not yet. Oh, then I'm good. First no, of all, not. you're okay. talking about going on a clothesline, switching into a flannel, <laughs> and hiding on a wall. So no, jumping if, down to master that, splinter. That changes. If there's no, if there's no helicopter, then I'm going tunnel first or under a bridge. They're right behind you. Oh. <laughs> they're right. They're going in the tunnel with you. This is you. <laughs> no, but I'm, right I'm willing to do things that most people would. I would hide in shit. <laughs> Bro, well, okay, but what area am I in? Here! Like, downtown? Dallas. I'm downtown? Yes. So if I'm downtown, I'll run into it. You're like, underground, Dakota Steakhouse. <laughs> I'm gonna go back there, put a chef hat on, and start cooking. No, honestly, the first thing I do is change clothes and find some scissors. <laughs> That's the first thing I do. Why? I start running. I, Why? I, no, hell no. Why scissors? No, okay, listen. I take, I take, the, I take the race, I take the chase off of cars. I, I make sure they're on foot with me. Okay, that's decent. Then... I find scissors and a change of clothes because they have a description with, uh, of me. Skinny black man running, right? Yeah. It, it looks like his spine's a little crooked. <laughs> so then, Slight scoliosis. So then I would try to find as much layers as I could. I would wear big, big clothes. It's change, not that cold. Change my pants. It doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. Change my pants. Change everything. So the, the clothes description changes. So you're sprinting full sprint away from other human being yes. grown men that are chasing you while you're changing clothes. <gasps> 
like that. And so look, clothes are changed. But then when my when I'm running, my hair flies off, right? So they know that it's hair, right? You're not about to cut your hair. That's when the scissors comes, right? You mean to tell me? <laughs> you honest to believe? You're full sprinting. You're gonna go? Yes. Yes. And leave him a little little Hansel and Gretel. And then I find the closest Ulta. The closest Ulta. You're in the forest at this point. You're just going to pop out. And I thought I was in the city. You said I was in the city. So you're doing all this on a sidewalk. <laughs> no, I go. Where they can easily see you. Sewage. <laughs> pop up into the. Your in fucking story is pissing me off. And up. then I pop up into the Ulta, right? I already changed my clothes. I cut my hair. Now, makeup. There's a sewage outlet in the middle of a beauty store. No, but like right outside of it. How do you think where the poop goes? Listen, all right, now I'm in the altar, right? Change my clothes, haircut. I look a little gross. I smell like shit. Then I put on as much makeup as I can. Ah, makeup. Then I go into the cash register on top of the counter. Panels in the, in the, in the, in the roof, right? Where the air conditioning goes. Your life is a movie. And then I hide up there. Five stars. So then the second a singular officer walks in, all the terrified women... From the guy with the botched haircut and now a full face of makeup that smells like manure. He's very skinny and his lower back is unbelievably hairy. They're not going to say, he's up there. They're, they're not going to go, he's right there. Because you're damn sure not crawling. Oh, yes, I am. You have you seen, I have crawl. a good, cr you what? can't crawl. You can't crawl good. That was two crawls, and you've already popped the nut. And you have way more real estate. Your ass is moving. And then I get into a Dick's Sporting Goods <laughs> because it's a shopping mall. Are you mall. in a shopping mall? Yes. I go into a Dick's Sporting Goods. How do you know? <laughs> the worst story ever. I think, okay. 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 You just fused like nine films together. Get out of here. I think it's time for people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop culture, pay in camp. Pop culture, pay in camp. Bow! Pop culture, uh, I got one. I'll go first. Um, UFC, guys. Yep, UFC, 100%. UFC 296 this Saturday. Super excited for it. I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and simple. Uh, Mine's actually funny, guys, so wait. Four of the fights on the main card all have a fighter that I will, like, outrightedly be. That's not a real word. Outwardly, be uh, rooting for. I like them. The fight's gonna be fantastic. Who are you fighting the in the main gang? event? Who are you rooting for in the main event? Mm. Okay, that's the tough one because I don't care because I don't like Colby Covington, but I don't like Leon Edwards. So that's one I'm just like, it's a championship fight. Can't wait. That's to watch how it. I was. That's the only one I don't care. That's how I was until Colby said that at the press conference. And I get selling a fight, but there's certain points. Yeah. He, if my he, dad got murdered and you said that about my dad. Yeah. I, he said, I don't even he care. Said, about I'm gonna bring you to the seventh layer of hell on Saturday night. Maybe we can say hi to your dad while you're there, too. It's great at selling fights, but, like, there's a certain line you don't cross, right? Yeah. Leon threw that bottle at him. Anyway, yeah. that's mine. You already know I'd mine. I killed him. But UFC, can't wait to see it. That, we're going to all watch it together. That main event is going to be bad, blood, central. They're going to be so just intense. Who do you have winning? Watch. Bro, I think I got Colby winning, to Probably. Yeah. Colby's cardio is otherworldly. Yeah. It's like Diaz brothers Colby's when they were in Colby's jaw broken again. Yeah. But, um, but that's mine. UFC 296. My pop culture is, I was scrolling on the timeline, right? Mm-hmm. You know, we all know a rapper of the name of Kevin Gates. <laughs> Interesting character. I don't even know if we can just classify him as a rapper anymore. He is a... Interesting character. He very, says he started a car with his bare hands. No, he didn't. Shout out to him. I saw a video of somebody doing it, though, in Mexico. Uh, he's a freak. Yeah. And so, all some the, could argue the freak is. And all the women I know that are, like, that religiously listen to Kevin Gates, I, I, know, I know them, and I'm like, makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, there's a part of the show... Kevin Gates concert where he brings a woman on stage sits him in a chair now that's very popular through the years of concerts Janet Jackson Hip -hop, used to do yes. it and you know you normally give him like a little sexual thing one less lonely girl Justin Bieber used to bring flowers sing one less lonely girl Kevin Gates Sierra, on the other hand right Kevin Gates on the other hand sat this woman down on the chair and stood behind her right so she's <laughs> sitting down on the chair right okay and this is PG-13 almost rated R so kids <laughs> click off Stranger, right? Just a fan. She's yeah. sitting down on, yeah. a, on a chair. Knows nothing about her. St sit, she's sitting down on a chair like this. Kevin Gates has the microphone standing up behind her. I already hate this. He grabs her throat, right? It's sexual, right? That's what you, he knew you were signing up for. Guys, throw. Brings her chin back like this. So now her head's hanging off the back of the chair with Kevin Gates standing over her. 
Now, I didn't watch this with audio because I knew something Nazar was going to happen. <laughs> he starts looking down at, at her while holding her, right? He's holding her. And then I see his mouth moving a lot. Oh, no, no, And no, I'm no. like, he's not talking. Seems like he's trying to conjure something up. He goes, <laughs> spits three droplets, one big one, two little ones, into this woman's mouth. This, wom- this woman goes and just starts looking around in the crowd. Now, I, as soon as I saw the spit already going, I was like, I can listen with audio now. I want to know what the after effect and what the crowd was thinking. I, I, I was like, so if the crowd's into this, everybody in there needs to be in a federal penitentiary. <laughs> penitentiary. Everybody needs their freedom revoked if they're cheering for this. Some woman that's recording goes, oh, that's nasty as shit. <laughs> we got one good one at least. Now, right? Bro. I was thinking. Oh, my God. I couldn't imagine. I was thinking. Did this girl show up alone? Does she have a boyfriend? Does she eventually want one? <laughs> she definitely she definitely has, at bare minimum, this girl definitely has a guy she's talking to. Not anymore. A guy she's entertaining. A boyfriend, a side piece, now, something. Now, Liv. And she just got spat in Liv, who is your, like, musician crush? Like, you love, like, you're so attracted to this guy. Male. Male. Of all time, like, you're so attracted, like, oh my God. Like, like he's sexy. You can sexy. say it. Watch it, though. Anybody. Let's see. Usher. Okay. Okay, Usher, right? Say Cam wasn't in your life, right? Usher calls you on stage and he goes, damn, man, you look good. Damn, man, you look good. Hey, town You look good, though. You're a little intoxicated, right? You're having a fun time. Usher calls you out out of the thousands of girls. I want you, Olivia. He smells like Egyptian oils. I don't, I don't. This he is- sits you down. There's, and he goes, you want to be much. on stage with me, sing this next song, this love song? You got it bad? Why do you look so, like, into this? And then and then he goes, okay. But his, his PA, his stage hand comes up and be like, okay, he's going to be a little seductive with you on stage. Is that okay? And you go, yeah, okay, cool. That's part of the show. But as you're sitting on the stoop. Stop smiling. He opens your mouth to spit in it like a baby bird. Would you, what would you do? That's a good woman. Now, I'm thinking there's about three or four women in this world that are singers. <laughs> You're like, I'll drink your bath water. <laughs> All right, that was Pop Culture Pay and Cam. Pop Culture Pay and Cam. We have a minute and 50 left for our hard drive runs out, so give them a... All right, guys, this, I can take that off because I'm no longer creepy and scared by a story, but this is episode 91. <clears throat> we absolutely love y'all. Extendo clip, extendo draws is gonna be on Patreon. Make sure to go check that out. Koala Club members, you've already seen it. It's already amazing. Whatever. Da 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 bada da bada boom. That is a horrid fit. That looks like what Billie Eilish wore on the Late Night Show. <laughs> this is what girls used to wear in like elementary school. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Awful fit. This week's code is B N P. Oh freak! Shut up. Um, B N P. What did we? Well, talk it could about? be B N T P, but T is a little too late. Shut up. Word. T stands for two. B N P. What did we argue about earlier? Be nice to Peyton. Oh. We don't have time. You said it in the very beginning Thanks. and it stuck with me. Thank Be you. nice to Peyton, damn it. Anyway, we absolutely love y'all. Koala Club, the LA Extended, the LA Vlog, and many more things tickets. to come. And the tickets with the pre-sale code is in Koala. Keep that secret. Keep that safe. We absolutely love y'all. The rest of y'all on our Instagrams, PSH8, on Friday. You Should Know Pod, Camp Kennedy 22. On Friday, you will finally get to hear where our next two shows are. <laughs> we absolutely love y'all. Everything you need to know is linked in the description below. You already know how we LA, thank you so much for an amazing show. We can't wait to come back. Can't and wait remember, to see you next week. When I took Wild Bears, don't make it home to Christmas. And I'll see you. Hello? Next time. What'd you say?